Kasmat! Pete Kasmat! Pete Kasmat! Where even the littlest tech tips make a big, big, big difference. Alright, come on over here. We got a DIY video to make. Okay? Can you, All right, get that can you be a camera face. girl today? I guess so, Pete. Why are you being grouchy to me? Huh? I want to get now look, now your head's to the camera again. We ain't done anything all the Yeah, we have. Day. We got everything ready to prime. Before we prime it, we got to show everybody how to prep it for primer if you've been doing body work on it off and on for three years. You yeah. can't just throw it in there and prime it. What's going to happen? I'm sure you have other What's going to happen, though? Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going to happen if I you do know. that? I have no idea. Can I tell you what's going to happen? What? The primer will not stick properly, and you're going to screw your paint job up. Let's go in the paint booth so I can show everybody and explain to them what we're talking about. Go for it. And don't use the camera like an amateur. You know how to be a camera. I'm serious. This is not a joke video. This isn't a clown clock time here. This is DIY. Where is the clown clock? I haven't seen the clown clock in a while. We should bring it out. Yeah, we're going to bring it out since you're here. Clown 214-972. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. I'm calling you 972. All right, your number 972. Oh, 972. 369. No, you're 972. 303. 501. 2739. Right. 82. We'll 64. About that later. 1234. Oh, he like getting around, but when somebody else gets around, yeah. Get back to the video so we can get this prime yeah, like you've been whining and crying. Okay. Now, before we go into restoring their car at home in their garage all right and, and it's probably taking you maybe two or three four years and their because garage as opposed to the living room what do you mean who would have their car in their living room i don't know i know it used to know a lot of people that work on their motorcycles <laughs> okay when you get that clowning around clown 972 let me know two on four okay i'm gonna walk around the car and when you get that clowning you let me know okay i'll just follow you now can we get on with the story okay <laughs> I'm going to try to see if I can make him really mad, okay? <laughs> I can't help it. Okay, come on, okay, baby? Oh, you know, I don't want to make this out to be a 60-minute video on a stupid okay, little thing yeah, like all right, this. Alright, alright, Well, you know, you don't mind me doing it, but okay. I do it, it's different. Can I get on with it? Alright, go ahead. What we got is a car we've been working on for four years. We got about two and a half years of body work. Now when I say two and a half years, I'm talking off and on. I'll do a little bit of the body work here, and then I'll stop and I'll do something else and I'll come back. Well, we finally got all the body work done. And as you can see, if many can bring the camera down here and kind of get a good gander at it, there's a lot of body work on this car. Now, it's not real heavy body work except for back here where I had to replace the quarter panels. And if you look at this quarter panel here, I'm down here, baby. I just stand I just, back there. Stand back there. We're I gonna, just walked through the whole fucking. But we're gonna cut. This is a cut and splice edit deal. If you look at the quarter panel here, do you see it? Now come over here. There you go. And then you look at the hold it, back it up, back it up. This is a cut and splice situation. Down a little bit. 
And then you look at the quarter panel here. basic minor 45 50 year old car bondo job and when I say bondo job I'm talking hammer and dolling the dents out the best you can and then doing the body work so what we got here is we got a car that we've been doing body work on possibly like you okay you understand what I'm saying I hear you I think we went over the body work okay yeah the real deal is is it's taken a long time to do it so our car is sitting in the shop collecting dust we're over here doing this to it and touching it and, you know, opening the doors and showing all our buddies that come over and say, oh, look at this right here. And by the time you do all that, after two or three years, what happens? Grease and stuff. Grease and slime and everything gets on the Bondo and our metal work and or epoxy primer. This is epoxy primer. I sealed the car after I stripped it to bare metal to seal it. And then after a couple of years of doing this, we've come back with a DA with 180 or uh, 220 and we've sanded it down for our filler primer which is 2k now what you want to do to prep it up for primer after two or three years of jerking off with it this wouldn't be a job I mean you can do this you know after you, if, if you were a guy that was going to work on your car and just non-stop get it done and you have it done in a month or so you would still want to do this now see you got me pissed off now I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about here Thank you. Thank you. You're talking about cleaning off the yes, car yes. before you so start. So what we have car. right here in the bottle is what? Rubbing alcohol. Plain and simple. Thank you, Clown. Rubbing alcohol. That's right. Thank you, Clown 972. 214. If I remember back uh, about a year and a half ago, you specifically got furiously pissed off when I explained what the clown clock was. And you slammed the door in my face. And you almost took my clown clock, threw it on the floor and said, I ain't no fucking clown. But today you want to be. I'm going to try to see if I can make him really mad. Okay. Is that what you're telling me? So what we're going to do is we're going to take rubbing alcohol, all right, or you can use denatured alcohol, whichever. You're going to go ahead and saturate your rag with it. When I say rag, I'm talking about it what, Manny? Wide ball, specifically made for paint use only. That's right. It's a tack free. You can buy these cloths at That's the right. it's automotive a lint. paint store. Okay. It's a lint-free, tack-free, wipe ball towel. Okay. And what you want to do is just basically wipe it off. You're going to go ahead and you're even going to wipe the Bondo because that is where we're really counting on getting it clean from the Bondo, collecting all the dust and all of the grease and slime. Look right here. Watch this right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at that. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see that black stuff that was right there? I just got it off. Okay. Just surface rust from leaning on it and touching it we'll take some 80 grit and get rid of that and then we're just going to wipe the car just like we would if we were going to paint the car do you understand yeah and then once that's done watch real close and i want to show you how quick this dries using um rubbing alcohol slash denatured alcohol you can see that it dries very quickly 
It's very accurate, and the main thing about doing this is what, Minnie? Uh, get all the spots? No. Yeah. It's cheap. It's oh. inexpensive. Well, I didn't this know where bottle you know. costs about 68 cents at your grocery store. You can do 300 cars with this bottle. Well, I don't think you can do that many, but yeah. Now, when you're doing this, I'm going to, I'll go ahead and finish this out real quick. You do not want to use wax and grease remover when doing this. Why? Because wax and grease remover takes a long time to dry, and wax and grease remover will actually penetrate into the bottle. We don't want that. All we want is a nice, good, white, clean, get the scum off, and go down the road. That's it. This side okay. of the car is ready to uh, prime. What? You didn't even wipe the quarter panel. Yes, I did before we started the video. Oh, let me ask you a question. What? Okay, uh, you know when you use the wax and grease remover? Yeah. You've always told me don't over wipe it. Just one time. That's right. Quickly. The more you wipe it, what happens? It, it will. The so wax and grease remover saturates all the wax and grease in it. Okay? And the more that you wipe with it, you're penetrating into your primer or your Bondo. Right. That's why you don't use wax and grease remover when you're cleaning your car for primer. Okay, let me finish my question. Okay, 972, what's up? 214. Okay. No, it's not. Your area code is not 214. Okay? It's 972. What? Okay. Uh, okay, you don't wipe, you don't over wipe when you use wax and grease remover. When you're using the alcohol in this particular situation, can you over wipe on Watch this watch. Look at there, look. See, it's dry, baby. Yes, I just explained that to him. I just said it. You can wipe over. It dries immediately. Wax and grease remover. In this weather, it would take 10 or 15 minutes to dry properly. Okay, so you don't have to worry about over -wiping. Okay, now you're getting a little exacerbated and you're asking all these questions that I've already answered and you're making me talk double. <laughs> you talk double. We're done. Thank you very much. If you didn't learn anything from that, you uh, learned one thing. Your wife can be a jerk sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to try to see if I can make him really mad. Okay. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now it knows how now he knows how it feels to put the shoe on the other foot. Right? Right, okay. Well, you know. We'll get it done. He'll get it done. Done deal. Hey. Alright, put the camera down. Put the camera down now. Okay, we're done talking. Goodbye. Alright? See you later. Go. Weren't you done somewhere? Camera. Jeez, hey, I was just trying to do it professionally. Yeah. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.